some Liz Tierney here. Um, I am making some um, re really quick and easy and delicious homemade salsa. And we're using one of my favorite tools and what I believe is one of the most underrated tools in the catalog, the quick slice. I know some of you have seen this before, but it's worth talking about again because the thing is amazing. So watch this. I have my peppers cut up here. Um, I'll share the recipe at the end for anyone who wants to know, but it's really super easy. So we're gonna make this, slice the pepper. I have them seated. We're gonna slice it, right? Perfect little slices. Then we take the slices. <clears throat> if it doesn't get stuck here. What the heck is happening here? A little piece got stuck. We're gonna turn them the opposite direction. Line them up all nice. And we're gonna do it again. You wanna do the rocking motion. And then you have perfectly diced little peppers for your salsa. So I'm gonna do that with all my little peppers here and it's gonna make the prep time on this salsa like super duper fast. So for the salsa, it's, you know, however, you can go heavy or light on the peppers or tomatoes, whatever you prefer. Perfect little diced peppers, right? And if there's any pieces that maybe are need a little more, then I'm just gonna go through and just chop them up a little bit with this right in the bowl I have here. So I'm just gonna chop it up, but they're really like pretty perfect the way they are. So perfect, right? I have said perfect how many times in this video now? I don't know, but there's a lot. <laughs> anyway, so he wants the TV unpaused. Um, any of you parents out there that have children that have devices and you feel like they're on them too much, or even you want to have you even want to have like a little more control over their television or video game time, if you have the Xfinity app, you can control the times that your children are online. You can set time limit. Um, you, it'll automatically pause after certain lengths of time. Like, say they're, you know, my kids have like a two-hour limit on during the day, weekdays. They have a little bit more time on the weekend, but then all their devices automatically get shut off. The Wi-Fi on their devices automatically shuts off. Um, for you know, it's different for their ages, but for one, it shuts off at 7:30. For the others, it shuts off at nine. Um, Weekends, they get a little bit longer. And the cool part is when somebody comes into your house, I feel like I'm doing a little commercial for Xfinity, but this app is just so amazing that I think every parent should have it. So um, the cool thing is when the kids have friends over, like when any, whenever anybody walks into my house, it tells me so-and-so has connected to your Wi-Fi or a new device has connected. And then I can assign that device to a profile and I can set the time limits for that one too. <laughs> so... So I do that for my kids' friends, like my older kids' friends when they come over because, you know, I don't want them on their devices, um, you know, at, you know, whatever time. And when they're supposed to be sleeping, you know, or whatever. They also, we also have rules like, you know, you can't have your devices in, um, your, you know, no devices in the bedroom, like ever. So there, we don't have that problem. But if, if we were, you know, if we allowed them to have them in the bedroom, then... It would still automatically shut off at a certain time and they wouldn't have access to anything. This can, this works for your PlayStations, your television, computers, laptops, phones, any kind of electronic device. You can set time control to. Anyway, that's my little spiel on the Xfinity app and, and <laughs> controls on the internet usage. I don't know where I got that. Oh, because Luke was over there complaining about the TV being paused right now. So weekdays is paused until 2 p.m. because those are school hours, so they should be doing school. Anyway, got off on a little rabbit trail there. Quick slice. Look at this. Look at how much peppers I just cut up in such a short amount of time. So for the salsa, it's however many peppers. I went a little heavy on the peppers here, so I might take some out and use them for something else because I'm making other things too. But a couple peppers, a couple tomatoes. You're going to dice up the tomatoes too. Dice up the peppers. Um, you can do a jalapeno. I'm going to dice up a jalapeno. I take the seeds out because the seeds are where the spice is. So... If you don't have the season, it's still like a tiny, teensy, tiny bit of heat. But when you add the um, seeds, it's a whole lot more heat. Um, pepper, tomato, uh, jalapeno. Um, what am I missing? Green onions. If you don't have green onions, um, sometimes I'll add a red onion or yellow onion. And you just dice it up really small, throw it in there. A um, little bit of olive oil drizzle on it to get it a nice sheen. Maybe a teaspoon of um, salt, a little bit of pepper. Um, and I take a lime or two and cut that in half and squeeze the juice all over that and it's perfect It's amazing salsa. So there you go But I really wanted to show you guys the quick slice and you got a whole lot more because I went on about the Xfinity app Which I hope helps some of you because it's been like it's a game-changer really um, All right. Thanks for watching guys. Bye